The Jackson 5. So off we go. First time for 2020, the Jackson 5 quiz. This is where we ask you a bunch of questions. You've got to answer five correctly in the shortest possible amount of time. Our quiz master is my producer, Namrata. Hello. Do we have a new lead? Are we, we're starting with a brand new leaderboard. Are we? Is that what I'm asking us a question. Question mark. Are we going to do this? Last year's one. <laughs> <laughs> Should we start with a brand new one for oh, 2020? For so that. if you delete the, oh, the very yeah. dull spreadsheet Spread. you've got, uh, we'll do that. Yeah. Start from fr from scratch. Oh, all right then. We should have probably had a conversation about this earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Rob will be thrilled about that. Uh, morning, <laughs> Rob Spence. Good morning, everyone. How are we doing? We're okay. Yeah, really good, thank you. So the way it works is we like to get five people together. They might be a family, they might be people that play sport together. In your case, you all work together this week, don't you? Fortunately so, yeah. We all work together. We all like each other, get on well with, with each other. So it's all no, good. That's, that's yeah. for now. That's for now, because as, no, we've, as we've discovered with the Jackson 5 quiz, is that people get very, very competitive and a bit cheesed off if they don't win. Very true. However, it's, it's good news. Listen, we're going to be the first team in 2020 doing the quiz, which is yep. a great honour, of course. But if you've just reset the high scoreboard, in theory, by the end of today, no matter how bad it goes, yeah. I'm going to be number one, right? <laughs> well, not as, well, certainly for today you'll be number one. That, that's for I'll, sure. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> we, 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 look, anything around two minutes and really you just, we're just going to throw you out. Anything under a minute, <laughs> we're okay with. Anything under 30 seconds, you're definitely going to stay at the top of the leaderboard for quite a while. So that's what you want to aim for. So no faffing Amazing. about. Um, okay, so you're all from Paragon Sales Solutions. Uh, in the in the sort of hierarchy of the company, how high up that hierarchy are you? Well, I'm, I'm the managing director. So I'm you're the, the boss. The owner, founder. Yeah, I'm the boss. Okay, so no pressure. <laughs> Absolutely not. I've got to lead by example here, right? The Jackson Five, BBC Radio Leicester. Look, the truth is, we all know that everybody gets very keen on beating the boss. <laughs> very true. Hi, right. Drivers. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> okay, here we go then. In which year did Prince William marry Kate Middleton? Oh, 2012. No. Name the three primary colours. Red, yellow, blue. Yes. Uh, whose 2019 Glastonbury performance was named by the BBC as the most watched ever? Stormzy. No. Name the seventh planet from the sun. Uh, Jupiter. No. What kind of weapon is a falchion? Oh, a sword. Yes. What is sushi traditionally wrapped in? Uh, right, seaweed. Oh. Yes, yeah, I'll let you have that one. <laughs> well, just random. Uh, which year did Margaret Thatcher become Prime Minister? Oh, uh, wait for my time. 1987? No. If I am born today, what is my star sign? Uh, Sagittarius. No. How many players oh, no. are there in a baseball team? Um... Nine. Yes. Which is the highest waterfall in the world? Not the obvious one. Oh, not Niagara then. Um, <laughs> oh, pass. <laughs> Which author wrote The Silence of the Lambs? Oh, pass. <laughs> when is the next leap year? Um, next year. No. Which year <laughs> did same-sex marriage become legal in the UK? Oh, 1990. No. Which son of a bus driver? Which son of a bus driver ended up in charge of London in May 2016? Oh, um, when? Sorry, 19. 2016. Which oh, son of a bus? Oh, what's his name? Thingy Khan, isn't it? Oh, well, there you have it. <laughs> well, that was like pulling teeth. Look, it's a good oh, well. job we've wiped clean the leaderboard because you are at the top of the leaderboard. Well, that's positive, isn't it? <laughs> with a, well, I mean, just, well, anyway, should we go through the wrong ones, which are quite a lot? Yeah, um, listen, it's been, it's been yeah. Come on, Prince William. Nice the first one. Yeah, whatever. Prince William married Kate Middleton, 2011. Um, oh, year 20, uh, 2019 Glastonbury performance was Kylie Minogue. Uh, the seventh planet from the sun, Uranus, as we now have to pronounce it. Um, <laughs> which, <laughs> which, sorry, children. I've got a thirteen-year-old in my house and he can't. Anyway, which <laughs> year did Margaret Thatcher become prime minister? Nineteen seventy-nine. If I'm born today, it's Capricorn. The highest waterfall in the world is Angel Falls, Venezuela. Silence of the Lambs, Thomas Harris. Uh, next year, leap year. This year. Next year. Oh. Which year did same-sex marriage become legal? Yeah, yeah. 
2014. <laughs> um, and the rest you got right, leaving... Uh, you, you managed to do it in 14 out of the 15 possible questions, which wow. are... Which, uh, <laughs> Which our, our quiz writer is cheesed off about because she's got to come up with 14, 14 tomorrow. Um, well done, well done. We managed it in a minute 40. <sighs> Don't say it as if that's good. Well, it is good, it's, isn't it? Because he's in the lead yeah, for now. So it Lord, seemed a lot longer than that, I'm not going to lie. It seemed yeah, a lot longer. Really <laughs> Just because we've reset the leaderboard, you get one of these. Because you are at the top of the leaderboard with oh. 1 minute 40. This is... Uh, I'm about crying for various reasons. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> uh, Rob, it's great having the show again. It really is lovely. Thank you so much. And who are we doing it tomorrow? Who's who's on the show? To, who's doing it for us tomorrow? Oh, um, so tomorrow, I believe it's my operations director, Dan. Okay, so Dan has not got his work cut out tomorrow, but it'll all be good. <laughs> um, Rob, you've been a joy. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Until <laughs> next time. Thank you. The Jackson 5. <laughs> so off we go again once more with the Jackson 5 quiz, all shiny and new post-Christmas and the new year. The way it works, you answer five questions correctly in the shortest possible amount of time. Might get you onto the leaderboard, um, otherwise known as the spreadsheet. Um, my producer, Nam, is the quiz master. Yes, I You am. don't do the questions. Somebody slightly more... Uh, yes, what's the word? nasty does those um, because some of them are, they're not difficult it's just sometimes they catch you out a bit yeah in a good way yeah in a good way it's just good fun yeah so operations director Dan from Paragon Sales Solutions is like wish I'd not said yes to this morning Dan morning how are you I'm very well thank you yourself yeah good so listen the boss yesterday did it in a not overly um, astounding one minute forty <laughs> um, <laughs> are you any good at quizzes well, we're about to find out. Hope doesn't be Rob, that's amazing. <laughs> Is there a bit of competition in the business? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Excellent, here we go. The then. Jackson 5, BBC Radio Leicester. Oh, uh, yeah, and just before we do it, if you would like to make up a team on the Jackson 5, we would love to hear from you. You just have to give us a call. We make it all happen. It doesn't take a long time. You know, it's just a bit of fun. Uh, nobody's going to get to go and sit on a beach as a prize or anything like that, because we don't do those. Um, just give us a call and we'll make it all happen. 0808 100 1049. Right, Dan, can you hear us okay? I can, I can hear you perfectly. Right, uh, Nam? I can hear you. Oh, no, you can hear me. You're sitting opposite me. You're literally about you. three feet away. Have you got the clock, is what I was going to say. The clock. It's exhausting, Dan. Uh, right, here we go. Which fast food restaurant has just launched a vegan burger that's not suitable for vegans? KFC? No. Who presents the breakfast show at BBC Radio Leicester? I'll be thrilled. How many footballers are in a football team, including the goalkeeper? Eleven. Yes. What is the capital of Sweden? Stockholm. Yes. Which year did UK Big Brother launch? 1998. No. I visited a takeaway favourite this morning. What type of takeaway was it? Could you repeat that, sorry? I visited a takeaway favourite this morning. What kind of takeaway was it? Who won a Golden Globe on Sunday for their role in playing the Queen? Pass. <laughs> How many days are there next month? Uh, 29. Yes. Roger Daltrey was lead singer of which group? Pass. <laughs> um, and Millicent Roberts is the middle and last name of what iconic children's toy? <laughs> Barbie. Yes. Really? Is kafili a cheese or a place? What? Can you repeat that, sorry? Is kafili a cheese or a place? It's a place. I think it is too. <laughs> what? What happened there? What? What there? Sophie, I think kafili the cheese is named after kafili the place. I think somebody will be wrong. somebody will say I'm wrong. If I am wrong, then I hold my hand up to him. I think, I think, I think it's like Cheddar's a place, sort of. Cheddar, go. Anyway, we'll give that to you. Thank you. So, Sophie. Uh, right. How? But anyway, listen. How quickly did you do it in? A minute twenty-three. So you beat you beat Rob. Hey. It also means on the basis that we emptied the leaderboard on Monday, yeah. you're also first on the top of the leaderboard spreadsheet. Fantastic, it's a good start. So uh, make the most of it whilst it lasts, because it probably won't be for very long. But Dan, you've been an absolute star, and thank you. I was astounded Fantastic. that he knew the answer to uh, Millicent Roberts being the middle name. I love the way you said it, Barbie. Barbie. 
Actually, the ones you got wrong. Um, burger King apparently has released a, a, a vegan burger that's not suitable for vegans. Uh, Jimmy and Sam of course, presented the breakfast show. Uh, Big Brother launched uh, the year of the millennium. I went to a fish and chip shop. Um, Olivia Coleman won a Golden Globe on Sunday uh, for her role playing the Queen. And Roger Daltrey was lead singer of The Who. The Jackson Five. Yes, the Jackson Five quiz. This is where you need to answer five questions correctly in the shortest possible time uh, to end up on uh, my producer Namrata's um, board of loveliness. Otherwise known as the leaderboard. Yeah, well, whatever it is. Um, which we do actually have, it's a, but it's in the form of, because this is the way you think, it's in the form of a, what's that thing? A spreadsheet. <laughs> Don't take the mic. I'm not, I'm not. You just work by spreadsheets and it's in a lovely spreadsheet. It's organised. Okay. If that exists. This week's team are made up from a local company called Paragon Sales Solutions. Um, today's team player is, um, I don't know whether this says this on your business card, Emily. It says, um, expert telemarketer. What does that it mean? Does it does indeed say that. Does uh, it? Uh, it does, yes. What does it mean to it's be an expert true. telemarketer? <laughs> what does that mean? Um, well, I, I, on behalf of the company and our clients, uh, make it various calls to various people with various capacities, um, either selling or, um, I suppose, kind of customer relationship management, so account management type roles. So I've been doing it for oh, 15 years. Have you? So, yeah, so I would, uh, I like to think I'm a bit of an expert now. <laughs> so nobody ever hangs up on you? Uh, yeah, very, very occasionally. Well, that's rude. <laughs> just rude. How good are you at quizzes? Um, well, there's a bit of a standing joke in the office that I'm, I'm better on a night out when there's a glass of wine involved. Obviously, at 11.30, you know, on a Wednesday, that's not really appropriate. So we'll just see. We'll just, we'll just see. find out. <laughs> Let's just have a go. Right, Emily, here we go. The Jackson 5, BBC Radio Leicester. Oh, then, what? I'm ready. <laughs> That's right. You're People can't see it. She's just literally just pointing at her camera, at her phone. We've got the, we've just got the time on it. Uh, the official timer. It's all very, very technical here. And as we know, as we know yesterday, uh, that the questions aren't always right either. Thank you for that, Sophie, uh, for our question setter. Um, okay, Emily, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. Where are the Olympics being held this year? No idea, Pat. What is a common term given to this month if you've given up booze? Uh, dry January. Yes. Is Edam a place, a cheese, or both? Both. Yes. Are there more Aldis or Lidl's in the UK? I'm going Aldi. Yes. Which reality series is returning this winter with Rochelle Hume's sister in it? Love Island. Yes. <laughs> Which day is the day after tomorrow? Friday. <laughs> Makes you think, though, doesn't it? It's a really difficult one. I was like, oh, what is it? Let's think about that one more than it does. <laughs> you flew past that. I've got to say that wow. uh, you absolutely trounced the boss's score, which is like yeah. forever. Uh, yeah. I love that. That's, that's what I was aiming for. So. When's your appraisal? We need to be careful about this. Um, the only one you got wrong was uh, the Olympics being held in Tokyo. Uh, I love the dry yeah. January thing. I've got a friend who I saw, um, who we saw over the weekend, who. Uh, refers to dry January as moist January because she says, I can't quite promise I'm going to get quite to the end. I can't hear it's quite funny. Um, it, it, the cheese question, we, we've set a, a, actually a task. It's a punishment for our, uh, to our assistant producer, Sophie, Hi. who, who um, uh, got the answer wrong to a question yesterday <laughs> about the origins of Kefili, the Kefili, cheese, yeah. and Kefili, the my, place. My sister in law's Welsh, so I knew that one. Ah, uh, well, there you are, you see. So we've told her she's got to come up with a cheese question every day this week to get it right. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes tomorrow. But Edam is indeed a place and a, and a lovely cheese that you can make interesting models out Do of the rind. Yeah. What's the time, then? Well, the cheese absolutely stormed the leaderboard this week. And yeah. I've, I've, I've got a small feeling that she'll probably be there for quite some time. Right. 33 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> wow. 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 So just go and screw it. The boss did it in one minute, one minute forever. Yeah. And then who was on yesterday? Minute 40 was uh, midday. And then and Dan then was on yesterday. was a minute 23. Which was all right, I suppose. Oh, wow. But you, the <laughs> expert telemarketer, are actually an there expert quiz master. You're a quiz master <laughs> level, that's what it is. 33 seconds. So, given that we've started a new leaderboard, you are definitely at the top of the yeah, leaderboard. Brilliant. I suspect, as Nam says, I think you're going to be there for a little while. So. <laughs> well done. Top of the spreadsheet.
Brilliant. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, Emily, thank you. You've been an absolute star. Thank you so much for coming on. Have a great day. No problem. Thank you very All much. Right. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. The Jackson 5. Off we go with the Jackson 5 quiz. You answer five questions correctly in the shortest possible amount of time. You might end up on the spreadsheet. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this week's team is made up of different people who work for the business Paragon Sales Solutions. Today's team player is expert copywriter Ben. Morning, expert copywriter Ben. Good morning. What a beautiful introduction. <laughs> Does it literally say expert copywriter on your door? Uh, yeah, I know it's my T-shirt. So. I think that's great. I love it. We should all have T-shirts with our job titles on it. That'd be amazing. What would yours say? I don't know. What would yours say? <laughs> <laughs> Boss. <laughs> bossy um, uh, anyway Emily did it yesterday in 33 seconds which was just absolutely terrific um, I can give you a heads up there will be a cheese question after Cheesegate early on in the week <laughs> so we're trying to make amends with that I hope you're up on your cheese mm, yeah we'll see we'll see <laughs> uh, why are we doing cheese straight after Christmas when nobody's eating cheese now we've already eaten our own body weight in cheese anyway uh, here we go the Jackson 5 BBC Radio Leicester so um uh, I have to say, Emily's score yesterday was uh, even, even though. So we've we've swept the leaderboard clean, which we do from time mm. to time. Um, so everybody this week ultimately will be on the leaderboard. Yes. But Emily already, even if we hadn't, that, she would have been on it. Yes, Thirty-three 100%. seconds was really really good. Okay, um, Ben, are you good at quizzes? Uh, no, I'm terrible. I feel well, but it's just very charming. That I have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do it and find out how bad you really are? Absolutely, yeah, just to embarrass me. Yeah, here, we go. Right. here we go. What's the name of the latest iPhone? Uh, the iPhone X. Uh, the iPhone 11. No. Uh, which popular bakery is giving their staff a £300 bonus this month? Uh, it's birds. Think sausage rolls. Oh, oh, Greg, sorry. Yeah, Greg. Can Stilton cheese be made in the village of Stilton? Yes. No. Who did Leicester City play last night? Manchester City. No. What programme is children's TV character Zippy from? Rainbow. Yes. No, 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 no. Yeah. Which popular makeup brand has a lipstick called Lady Danger? Lady Danger? Wow. Uh, Matt. Yes. How do you know that? Is Leicester north or south of London? Uh, north. Yeah. Which film starring Joaquin Phoenix has recently been nominated for 11 BAFTAs? Joker. Well, I mean, I've got to say there was a bit of faffing about there, but not no, bad. Did he? Or did you yeah. answer, Ben? What? Um, not you, Ben. Oh, other Ben. Uh, question two. I, I could have sworn he said birds. Did you say birds? Oh, that, that must have just been a problem with the speaker. What did you I'm say, sure. um? He said, um. Yeah, definitely said, um. No, he said Greg's. Okay. You know, before that, I thought he'd answered it. Only because there was obviously a massive gap, and I've well, taken about five seconds. He's not going to get on the leaderboard for very long, no, anyway. Um, so iPhone, which was iPhone 11 Pro, uh, then um, you can't make Stilton in Stilton for all, all kinds of reasons. Um, who did Leicester City play last night? It was Aston Villa, everything else you got right. Um, I'm astounded. I love the fact that you know about Mac. That's yeah, great. I like that one. Lady uh, Danger. Course, uh, I'm sure Rob's will be up on that one. Okay. <laughs> and does he get half a point by phone 11? Cause it, it just no, he doesn't. Point. We don't do half points. I'm not right or wrong. Why am I being nice? Uh, I don't know. It's unusual. Um, <laughs> right, well, how long did he do it in? <laughs> a minute four. <laughs> you get one of those purely because you are on the leaderboard. Uh, but not bad actually. Uh, how long did Rob do it on Monday? Was it? Minute 40. Oh, you're miles ahead. Uh, definite bragging rights there. Ben, you've been an absolute joy. Thank you so much. Lovely. Thank you Thank very you. much. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank Thanks. You <laughs> I love how bemused people are sometimes. I'm not quite what sure. Do you mean, boss? You charmed really? him into doing it in the first place. Charmed him. Then you're doing it. That's what happened. Where's tomorrow's contestant coming from, Ben? Well, yeah, I'm quite excited by this. Tomorrow's contestant um, isn't, isn't even in the city. It's not even in the country? Or the country. Where are they? In Atlanta. Georgia. Georgia. <laughs> the Jackson 5. Okay, off we go with a special transatlantic version uh, of the Jackson 5. 
I'm not sure how this is going to work because there's a delay on the line. Anyway, we'll make it all figure out. The way it works is that we ask you a bunch of questions, answer five of them correctly in the shortest possible amount of time. And who knows, you could be at the top of the spreadsheet. Um, can I produce a name? Is it morning? Yes, morning. Don't humph and pump at me, for heaven's sake. If you keep taking the mick of this... I know, you've got a spreadsheet. What, no, you know? the, the middle one. So having spent months taking the mick out of my uh, lack of leaderboard, I made one. Yeah, and then we uh, threw it away. And then, yeah. So, so this week we've had a brilliant team on, uh, five team players from Paragon Sales Solutions, local company. Today's team player is sales support worker Kate Harris, who's not in Leicester. She's not in Leicestershire. She's not in England. Where are you, Kate? Hi, um, I'm currently out in Atlanta, in Atlanta, Georgia. What are you doing in Atlanta? Uh, just, uh, just on holiday at the moment, just a little stop before I come back, so back tomorrow. Well, you're not even at work. <laughs> No, no, but uh, who, could miss, who could pass up the opportunity to uh, take part in the quiz? Had to take one to you and do it. Who so, could? Yeah. Who could pass that up? Even though there's a massive delay, which is all going to happen. We're going to take five seconds off whatever your total is. We're going to do that because yeah. there's a massive delay. Right, Kate, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, Jackson, all ready. Five. BBC Radio Leicester. <laughs> I love this first question. I'm going to love asking this. Right, Kate, are you ready and you can hear us okay? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> you palpitations you know already. It's going to build the tension. Well, it is, it? certainly. It's going to be very tense, this is. Right. Okay, here we go. What type of food is a mortadella? Oh, my God. Uh, I have no idea. Pastry? No. no. Uh, which couple have chosen to step back as royals? Uh, Prince Harry and Meghan. Yes. True or false, a timber doodle is a type of cheese. True? Yes. Which Leicester band were named runners up in the sound of 2020? Uh, I'm just going to go crazy in with that one. No. Are vegetable crisps classed as one of your five a day? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, right. Which large department store may cancel their staff's annual bonuses? Uh, John Lewis? Yes. Who presents the programme on After Me on BBC Radio Leicester? Oh, no, I have no idea on that one. <laughs> oh, he's going to be livid. Uh, which month, which month do the clocks next change? Uh, when do they go forward? April? March, no. April. Which chess piece can only move diagonally? At Bishop. Yeah, oh yeah, I like that. Good answer. I tell you, our our question setter Sophie is becoming she's got into the rhythm now. It's great, it's hilarious. Um, right, what type of food is a mortadella? It's a sausage and it's delicious. Uh, I don't know how I've never heard of this. Timber doodle is indeed a type of cheese. This is because earlier on in the week Sophie made a classic error and uh, we got the right answer to the wrong question or the wrong answer to the right question. <laughs> right. So we 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 Ted said we she's got to put a cheese question in as 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 kind of you know recompense for that. Timber doodle is a type of cheese. It's oh. produced in America. Sounds lovely. Um, which Leicester band were named runners-up in December 2020? You said Kasabian, which is a reasonable answer, but it wasn't them. It was Easy Life, who are just brilliant. Uh, Martin presents after me on BBC Radio Leicester, and the clocks do their thing so spring forward. Uh, he's, he's actually sobbing in the next year. <laughs> uh, the, the clocks do their thing in March. So you did pretty well, actually. But how many seconds did you do it? the size of the delay wasn't there, actually. We're going to give you five, five just seconds. Five. Just five. Just yes. five. Yes. Well, the actual time was minute 20. But if we're going to take off five, then that make it minute 15. But I think that's still hard. I think we'll do a minute 10. All right, we'll do a minute ten. You are uncharacteristically generous. <laughs> well, yeah, it's the start of the year. Start of the week to go on. But she's still on the top. She's still on to whereabouts third on the leaderboard. Yes, because so we, we had a minute twenty-three and a minute forty something. Minute forty. The boss was a minute forty. Seconds. Given half a chance, the boss would still be answering questions. Um, uh, Kate, you did brilliantly. Thank you so much. And that you are, apart from anything else, you are our first Furthest. international Jackson Five competitor. <laughs> Well, I'll take that. I'm at the top of the leaderboard for that one, obviously. Yeah, totally are. And you're probably going to be there for a long time. Maybe we can make that a thing. Kate, <laughs> enjoy the rest of your day's holiday. Hang on a minute. What time is the day is it Thank with you? Thank you. Uh, it's 
Well, you are brilliant, Kate, and we are very, very grateful for your generosity of spirit. So have a great weekend and a good flight home. <laughs> Thank you. Take care.